Hello guys, welcome back to another video. The paper I've chosen is 2016 June 3 2. So here let's start with web page. You are going to develop going to help develop a website for Goa Elephant Sanctuary to raise awareness of the project. Viewers of the website may have slow internet connection so efficient markup must be made must be used so uh, let's start here create a new folder called 1632 htm so let's create a folder new folder name the folder 1632 underscore html 632 underscore html and then locate these following files and place them in this folder image 1 to 8 and logo so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and logo let's move this you either cut cut and paste it here okay i'll show you how to cut and paste or you can just click and drag it to html cut open the folder paste okay now let's continue create a web page called 1632 ges okay let me open the application i use dreamweaver here okay there we have it we are going to create a web page they have asked us to create a web page so let's create choose html choose html create new html and the first step here you do is you save your file file save as you will have to save it inside the correct fo folder that is wherever you have the pictures you will have to save it inside the correct folder and save it with the file name 1632GES 1632GES just type the file name not the extension and then save now next this web page must work in all browsers and will have a table structure as shown below each table is identified with a letter and all dimensions are in pixels okay let's add the table first insert table okay now the number of rows one two three four one two three four four and four four rows and four columns and then type in the number of rows and columns here the largest width is 736 that has to be mentioned here as well 736 and change the pixel and make sure the dimension is in pixel and click ok align the table to be in the center and then the first cell is merged cell A is merged so highlight the first row right click table merge cells the dimension is 736 times 172 so at the bottom you have width and height so 736 and the width is 172 172 enter next all these all these are of same dimension so let's do that together highlight the cells 184 140 so width is 184 140 next the last row is merged again so highlight the last row merge right click table merge cells and the dimension 736 140 736 140 okay table borders and the letters shown in the table must not appear on the final web page make sure you don't have table borders and the text mentioned here the letters mentioned here place in cell a image 1632 logo in cell a place the cursor insert image 
from the folder find for logo. There you have it. Name the text. Later on, you will have to name the text uh, image. So we'll do it right away here. I name it logo. And you have the picture there. Resize this image to 730 pixels wide, maintaining the ratio. So click on the picture. You have the width and height of the picture. So change the picture's width to 730. Make sure the lock here in between is locked. That maintains the ratio. 730. Enter. Click on the table border. It adjusts the size of the table. Next, using the most appropriate image from 1 to 8, place in the cells these pictures. So in cell B. B, C, D, E. Okay. In cell B, this image of an elephant in the river. Place the cursor in cell B. Insert image. Image of an elephant in the river. Name it. Elephant in the river. Next, in cell C, is image of an elephant ride. Insert image. Image of an elephant ride. There we have it in image 7. Name it L Elephant Ride. Okay, next in cell D, image of a stream in the jungle. Insert image. Stream in the jungle is image 6. Name it stream. Next, image of an of a garden in cell E. Insert image. Image of a garden is image 8. Name it garden. Okay, we are done with the pictures. Now next, make sure there is appropriate text for each image. That's what we named it just now. Okay, next, in cell F, G, H, N, I, type in the text. In cell F, elephant bath time. Elephant bath time. Next, cell G, elephant rides. Elephant rides. Next, H, trek up a jungle stream. Jungle stream. Next, I chill out in our tranquil gardens. Chill out in our tranquil gardens. Okay, now highlight all of these texts and set it to be style heading 1. Highlight these and format, choose it to be heading 1. Next, place in cell J, text updated by updated by colon your name center number and candidate number type in your name center number followed by your candidate number and set this to be style heading two set it to be heading two okay next Center align the table. Make sure the table is in the center. It has to be in the center. Next, save the web page. Let's save this web page. File, save. Just file and save. Okay, next, create a new cascading style sheet. Okay, let's create a new style sheet. File, new. You are asked to create a CSS, cascading style sheet. So choose CSS, create. There you have the style sheet. Delete the contents there and click on the refresh button here on the right. Okay. All color codes must be in hexadecimal. Remember, make sure your style sheet contains no HTML. Okay, let's start with the background. So background is basically for the body of the web page. So let's add the style. Click on new CSS rule on the right hand side. CSS, uh, the selector type has to be tag, selector name, leave it to be body. And here, 
we are working on the background so choose the background category and they say it has to be black color so from the color palette pick black and you will have to make the color hexadecimal it has to be six digit so add three more zeros to make it six digit so that's it on the body click ok you get the coding for body style move the cursor to a new line get a new rule selector type is tag selector name now let's work on heading one h1 so fine for h1 click ok okay mm, the font it's helvetica or arial or sans serif so let's find for this arial helvetica sans serif if you want it in the order you will go to edit font list find the available fonts and then add it to the chosen font and click ok so let's find for helvetica Maybe my layout is different so i follow this order okay arial helvetica sans serif okay now the text color the text color is white so from the color palette pick white and make it hexadecimal add three more f's font size is 30 pixels font size type 30 font style italic font style is italic alignment is center align go to block category text align choose it to be center click ok you get the coding there move the cursor to a new line get a new rule css uh, selector type is tag now let's work on heading 2 heading 2 fine for heading 2 click ok now font family is again the same helvetica arial sans serif and then font color rgb it has to be in the format red green and blue so ff ff 00 so hashtag ff ff 00 is the color code font size is 20 20 is the font size alignment is right align block category text align right click ok you got the coding there move the cursor to a new line table no visible grid lines or borders so let's type the coding table comma td both table and the grid lines open bracket borders we don't need any borders so we set it to be zero pixel we're done with that now let's save the style sheet in your folder using the file name styl followed by your candidate number let's save this file save as we'll have to save it in the correct folder styl followed by yeah followed by your candidate number save so we are done with that now take a screenshot showing the content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document take a screenshot make sure the file name is clearly visible open your evidence and place i hope this is step 25 yeah step 25 place this under step 25 there we have it next make sure the file name is clearly visible the file name on top it has to be clearly visible next Attach the style sheet saved in step 25 to the web page saved in step 24. The web page saved in step 24 is this, GES. So to this, you need to attach the style we created just now. To attach, format tab, CSS style, attach style sheet, and browse for the style. STYL followed by your candidate number. Click OK. OK again. So there you have it okay save your file and then display the web page in your browser so let's open this in the browser file preview in browser let's use chrome there we have it no borders huh? there are no borders 
Okay. So once it is opened in the browser, take a screenshot of the web page in the browser and place this in the evidence. So let's take a screenshot of this. Okay, make sure you show the web page, the address bar on top and paste this under questions 26. Okay, do not crop this picture. Next, coming back. Take a copy of the HTML source and place this in your evidence document. So open your Dreamweaver, go to the coding here, code, not the source code, go to the coding, select all, copy your coding, paste this in your evidence. Okay, so we are done with the coding. And once done, you will have to print. After that, you will have to print your evidence. Finally, you will go back here, save your evidence, file, print. Okay, choose the correct printer and print. So I hope that was clear and helpful. See you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.